I've just finished row 12 and I'm ready to begin row 13. So I am again turning my work and slip stitching into that chain 2 space and doing a beginning cluster. Chaining 2 and doing another cluster into the same space. Now we chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And into every chain three space on our work, so right here and right here, we're going to place seven double crochet. So I've chained five and then seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then going on to the next chain two space, we're going to have our double cluster. So you're just going to repeat this all the way till the end and then I will see you again for row 14. I've completed row 13 and we now have seven double cro crochet clusters and six seven double crochet groups. We're going to turn our work to begin row 14. To begin row 14 of course, slip stitch into your chain two space and do a beginning cluster. Chain two, one, two, and another cluster into the same space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to place a double crochet, chain one, into each one of our double crochets. Six times here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then double crochet into your last double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then move on to your double cluster. We're gonna repeat this all the way across and I will see you again for row 15. I've just completed row 14 and getting ready to begin row 15. Just turning my work. getting bigger and bigger so it's harder to turn. Slip stitch into your chain two space and do your beginning cluster. Chain two and do another cluster into the same space. Now chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then single crochet into your first chain one space. To single crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, five single crochet in your next chain one space. We're going to do this four more times. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in your next chain one space. Chain five, one, two, three, 
four, five, single crochet again into the next chain one space. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the last chain one space. So now we have a total of five chain five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. After that single crochet, you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And do your double cluster just like we've been doing. Treat each one of these seven double crochet chain spaces the same as we just did. So you're going to place five chain five loops and they're going to be spaced apart with the chain sixes on each side. I will see you again for row 16. I have completed row 15 and now turning to begin row 16. Row 16, we're going to be placing basically three clusters into this chain two space instead of just our regular two. So we're going to increase. So slip stitch into your chain two space and do a beginning cluster. So your chain three and then your double crochet three together. Chain two, one, two, and then do a double cluster. So there's one, chain two, one, two, and there's the second one. Now chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And over here, we're going to do four chain five loops. So we're going to single crochet into our first chain five loop and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain five loop. One, two, three, four, five single crochet into the next chain five loop, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next one, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in your last one, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now we're going to do a cluster and then a double cluster. So our first cluster, because we want three into this chain two space. So there's one, chain two. This is the middle one. Chain two and the last one into the same space. So there it is. There we have three clusters, chain six, and then here we have the four chain fives, and you're just going to repeat this all the way until the end, and I will meet back up with you again for row 17. I have completed row 16 and I'm going to begin row 17. I've already turned. So in this row, we're going to place a double cluster in the first chain two space, chain two, and a double cluster in the second chain two space. So of course, we have to start with our beginning cluster. So I'm chaining three doing that beginning cluster. Chaining two, and of course it's a double cluster, so I'm going to place my second cluster into that same space. Now here, chain two, 
and into this second chain two space place your second set of double cluster. Chaining two and doing my last cluster stitch. So that's what that looks like. Now chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here we're going to have one, two, three chain fives. So single crochet into your first chain five space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the next chain five space. Chain five. Single crochet into the following chain five space, chain five, single crochet into the last chain five space, and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move on over to that previous set of triple cluster, and we're going to place two double cluster separated by a chain two. So it's going to look just like this one at the beginning. Double cluster, chain two, double cluster. Chain six, three chain fives, chain six, two double clusters. I'll let you complete round 17 or row 17 and I will catch back up with you for row 18. After completing row 17, this is how my work looks and I just wanted to point out that right here where we have the two double clusters, these are going to fan out each way like this so that our next pineapple can fit right up in here. So just so you get a kind of a visual, just like down here where it opened up and we now have a pineapple growing right here. So that's where our next pineapple is gonna go and these pineapples are gonna close up like so. I have turned to begin row 18. Now we're going to slip stitch into our chain two space and we're going to place a beginning cluster, chain two cluster, into this chain two space. Then here we're going to place a double crochet, chain three double crochet. Then over here we're going to place a double cluster. So first of all we're going to place our beginning cluster. chain two and cluster. Now chain two, one, two, and double crochet into this next chain two space. So that middle chain two space, we're gonna double crochet, chain three, two, three for me, and double crochet into that same space. So now we have basically a large V stitch right there in the middle. Chain two, one, two, and place a double cluster in the next chain two space. So there's my first cluster stitch. chaining two and my second cluster stitch. Now chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we're going to now have two chain fives. So one there and one there. So single crochet in your first chain five loop, chain five, single crochet in your second chain five loop and chain five, single crochet in your last chain five loop, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So now right here is what we're going to do in each one of these double clusters here. So we're going to place a double cluster, chain two, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. So there we go. Double cluster, chain two, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain two, double cluster. So we're going to do that all the way across and I will meet up with you again for row 19. Here I'm getting ready to start row 19 and we're going to place a beginning cluster, chain two cluster, into here. Then into our chain three space we're going to place nine double crochet and then into this cluster here we're going to place a double cluster. So I have slip stitched and chaining three for my beginning cluster. Chain two and my second cluster. Now go right from that last cluster into your nine double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now double cluster in your next chain two space. So my first cluster stitch right here. Chain two, one, two, and the second cluster stitch. Now here we are right here at this first pineapple. So we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in your first chain five loop. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in your next chain five loop. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here we are at this repeat again. So we're going to do a double cluster, nine double crochet, and double cluster. And then over here, we're going to do our chain six, one chain five and chain six again. So I'll let you repeat this all the way around or all the way across and I will meet back up with you for row 20. I have completed row 19 and I'm going to begin row 20. So of course we're going to do our beginning cluster, chain two cluster, into this very first space. Just like we've been for our whole shawl so far. So that's my first cluster, chain two, and cluster into the same stitch. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into each one of these previous nine double crochet. In the last stitch, we're going to just place a double crochet. So you're going to do eight times, you're going to do double crochet, chain one. There's one for me. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
five, six, seven, eight times. There's my chain one at the end there. And then you can see here, the, our last stitch is this one bumped right against our cluster stitch here. So you want to place a stitch there. You want nine double crochet, all separated by a chain one space. Then we're going to chain two on this side and place our double cluster into our chain two space. And my second stitch right there. So that's what that looks like right there. It's hard to see with the background like that. Okay, next chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in your next chain five space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then here we can and then here we're going to begin our repeats. So we're going to do a double cluster, then chain two. I'll go over here so we can look at it. Chain two, double crochet, chain one, eight times, double crochet in your last double crochet. So we have a total of nine double crochet right here. Chain two and double cluster. Then chain five, single crochet, chain five. Going to repeat this all the way across and I will meet you again for row 21. Here I have turned to begin row 21. We're going to do our beginning cluster, chain two cluster, and this yarn is looking really pretty changing colors again, chaining two, and doing a cluster into the same stitch. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to single crochet in our first single crochet space, in our first chain one space here. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to single crochet in our chain one space, this very first chain one space. So not this chain two space here, but this chain one space. So we're going to single crochet into that. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain one space. We're going to do this six more times. So chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, single crocheting, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in your last chain one space and there we should have a total of these loops here one two three four five six seven loops and then we chain five one two three four five and we do our double cluster into this chain two space so after your double cluster you're going to do a chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in your previous single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to begin a repeat. 
So double cluster, and we can look at it over here. So double cluster, chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, chain five, cluster, double cluster, chain three, double crochet in your previous single crochet, chain three. Repeat this across and I will see you again for row 22. Here I have turned and I'm ready to start row 22. So you're going to do a beginning cluster like we've been doing. Chain two, one, two, and cluster into the same stitch. I apologize for all of the truck traffic noise on this video. Some days are worse than others. After completing your last cluster there, you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here we have, of course, the chain five right here, and then we have seven of these really pointy chain five loops. So we're going to a single crochet into these, into your very first pointy chain five loop, skipping over this chain five. Single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in your next chain five loop. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And we should have a total of six of these chain five loops at the end of this row. So we've got two, three, and there's three. One, two, three, four, five. There we have four. One, two, three, four, five. There we have five. One, two, three, four, five. And we have six. Now chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Double cluster in your next double cluster. chain one, and then you're going to skip over this space right here, and you're going to go right into a double cluster for the next, into the next double cluster. So it looks like that. And then you're just going to repeat what we just did. So you'll do a chain six, and then six chain fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another chain six. Double cluster in your previous double cluster. Chain one, and then double cluster again. Do that all the way across and I will see you again for row 23. Here I have turned and ready to start row 23. To begin, I have slip stitched into my chain two space and I'm going to do a beginning cluster. Chain two, one, two, and cluster into the same space. Chain two, one, two, 
chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet in your next chain five loop. On this row, we will have five chain five loops. So we're going to work right across here, chaining five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crocheting in the next loop. And single crocheting again. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet. And last time. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet. So there's our five chain five loops. Now we chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we begin our two double cluster. So I have one, chaining two, and there's my second cluster. chain one and do your next double cluster. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And then I've just chained six, which is like this right here, chain six, and then five chain fives. And you're going to continue in this fashion all the way across, and I will see you again for the next round. Thank you so much for watching part two of this three-part tutorial. I hope you like it and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in part three.